So, your game is lagging. Your Minecraft is lagging. You tried Optifine, and it's not wor working. You know, RAM is a big part of it, so you want to add more. Uh, you've went onto YouTube, and there aren't really any good videos out there for, like, the current launcher. Like, everything's outdated these days, so. I'm going to tell you a 2014, like, end of 2014, um, version of it. Let's see, running 1.8, uh, 1, yeah, 1 1.8 and then 1.5.3 launcher. Um, so, what you're gonna want to do is check to see if you're running the right Java for your computer. Uh, if you have a 64-bit, you download the 64-bit Java. Um, when I went to do this, I had 32-bit Java on my computer for some reason. So I had to go and download a 64-bit version. Uh, but to tell whether you have a 32-bit or a 64-bit version um, is to go to here. Uh, control panel, system, and security, and then system. Another way to do it is go to computer, in system properties, and it'll take you to this page. You're going to scroll down, so about right here for Windows 8, Windows 7, Windows Vista, whatever. Um, and right here it's going to tell you the RAM that you have, 6 gigs, you got to keep that in mind. And then 34-bit uh, operating system. So I have 34-bit, so I need to come down here to this link. Right there, I'll put in the um, description and you're going to want to download this, the Windows Offline 64-bit version of Java. You're going to click on it, it's going to start downloading. Um, then, once it's finished downloading and you are certain that you have the 64-bit version of Java on your computer, uh, next you're going to go to your Minecraft. I'm talking way too fast. This, this is a good slowdown uh, moment. So, you know, you're opening your launcher, which takes years when you have a crappy processor such as myself. Okay, so, uh, you guys select the right profile that you usually use. I use Optifine, so I'm always on Optifine. So what you're going to do is click on Edit Profile, and you're going to select JVM Arguments down here. And you're going to delete everything except for the negative XMX right there. Delete everything. When I say everything, I mean everything. So I have six gigs of RAM. Um, and before it was running about 400 m megabytes, I think it was. I'm not sure. Maybe 500. But whatever the case, I'll add more. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in 2500 for 2500 megabytes. And then you're going to put down a capital M uh, of RAM associated to Minecraft itself. Uh, if you have 2 gigs, you're going to want to put in like, I don't know, like 1000 megabytes of RAM. If you have uh, 4 gigs, you're going to put in like, I guess one and a half, so 150 or 100, 1,500. I'm very bad at math. <laughs> um, and if you have like 16 gigs of RAM, you shouldn't be watching this video because you got a monster computer. Um, so yeah. Uh, next, you're going to want to hit Save Profile, and then hit. Oh, and then you're gonna want to restart your launcher. So, 2,500 megabytes is about two and a half gigabytes. That's why I put, I, I'll put all that info down, like, what amounts of megabytes equals a gigabyte. I'll put that down for you, just so that you know how much you're, you should use, um, or write down. So, as I'm going to launch this, I'm going to let you know right now, do not be disappointed when you go to your debugging screen and it always says like 2,000 when you put in 2,500. Java's going to pick the right amount of RAM that it's going to use um, by itself. I mean, it's, it's going to choose what's best for itself, basically. So you're going to put down and it's going to adjust it. So it says that I'm going to probably be running like 2,000 uh, megabytes when I put 2,500. That's okay. It doesn't matter. 2,000 is more than enough. So what you're going to do is just go into a single player world, create a new world, um, whatever you want to name your world, maybe you want to start a new series right now. Just go there, create a new world, wait a million years for the world to build itself. <laughs> Alright, so let's wait until we are actually seeing things. Okay, perfect. 
Now, you're noticing a little bit of lag. That's just because we just started that up, and I have a very crappy processor. Um, okay, so everything's loading in. Everything's getting a little bit smoother. Let's press F3 and see how much. So, before... Crap. Um, before, everything... This used to be, like, 490 megabytes. Now it's 2,222. Um... And see see how much it's using out of that? It's perfect for extra space. So let's 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 run around for a little while and just watch that. It's going up to eight hundred, nine hundred, it's frozen. Hold on. Okay. So yeah guys, uh that's how to add more RAM. As you can see it's I mean, I am only getting like twenty FPS right now, eighteen. But it's, I am using more RAM. As you can see, right in there. It's it's got plenty of space to just do what it wants. Um <laughs> I don't think it's ever going to reach 1,500 1, megabytes being used with RAM. So, that's a good thing. So, I hope this video was very informative and helped you out a lot. A, a very, very much lot. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Uh, if it did, and if it didn't, just leave a like and subscribe because it helped a lot. I know. I have a very small channel right now, but we can, together, we can make it grow. Am I right, or am I wrong? Come on, guys, come on, just just subscribe. It's, it's not gonna hurt. Okay, bye.